uh, even though H2K gave up those early kills in lane before the other team had even really got involved, they rebounded pretty well in game two and had a sizable lead early on, up around six or seven K lead. And then they attempted a Baron. We got a clip of it here. Now we've known, we know that Yankos is uh, prone to tilt. Yes. So when your team tries for Baron and uh, the opposing team is pressuring, things could go bad. It definitely can go bad, and it's not a good start when uh, Soaz gets caught out, which we've seen from time and time again. But with Soaz gone, it's like, okay, we'll start the Baron, especially with the Cho'Gath gun. He can't really steal away with the Feast. Yeah, now, Odoamne had stolen the Baron from Fnatic in, uh, in a different game. Yes, with the old Nom Nom play. Yeah. Uh, very skilled yes. move to the Fresh make. Star. But yeah. I mean, Brock was just chilling on the side the entire time. No one's zoning him. And now he goes in with the black shield on. And Caps is going to burst it down. And uh, there it goes. Easy peasy for Brock. He's done it time and time again in this split. But yeah, no one even tries to zone. And then they all, all flash over into the red pit. Yeah, they don't even lose anyone other than no. Soaz after slaying that Baron. I don't know why H2K isn't trying to zone the Gragas <laughs> and not let him just freely body slam in. He didn't even have to flash in because no. no one was trying to interrupt or anything. So... I think that's kind of been an issue with H2K is kind of playing around those pretty much 50-50 Barons, even though they had the advantage, they had the man advantage. I feel like they could have played that way better and at least made it like a 70-30 that they're the ones that get that Baron or just all into the Gragas and made sure they weren't going to do anything. So that was kind of the beginning of the end for H2K in that game. Yeah, that, that was a pretty lazy play, especially with H2K having an early lead. They did the work to get an advantage. They got Soaz out. And then just just zone. That's all you got to do. You send a couple guys around to kind of keep Gragas away from it. And then even the Syndra is doing free damage to it so they can time the burst themselves instead of just trying to random smite it. So it was almost even in favor of Fnatic at that point. Yeah, and uh, Yankos, a guy who in that G2 series, series way back a couple weeks ago where they got 3-0'd, Yankos said uh, in Game 1 of that series they had a Baron stolen from them when he was playing Nunu. And he even said himself that that kind of affected them uh -oh. for games to go. So, into game three here, after <coughs> they lost game two, after a large reason was that Baron was stolen from them. We got another clip here of Yankos, and uh, you can kind of see the tilt starting to come out. You definitely see the tilt starting. And I mean, you're a level four Sejuani up against a level six Syndra. Your mid laner's nowhere around. Why are you trying to fight that? And there he goes. Oh, oh no. See you later. That's not a good sign. And even the next gank, when he tries to go in at Caps again, the Shen ult comes in like they forgot that Shen has a level 6 ability, which is pretty good. And the game just starts to fall apart from there. And it's, it is Yankos being like, oh, I threw Baron away that game. That game's kind of on me. Let's make it happen this one. Get overly aggressive when you don't even have your ultimate yet. You're against a Syndra, who I don't know if you, you've known, but she's got a pretty tough ultimate to use where you just press the R <laughs> button and you kill somebody. Um, so it's like, I, I don't know. And Not good communication at all with your mid laner, obviously. Yeah, and even burning your flash when the Cinder Elts already on <laughs> yeah. you. That flash hasn't worked like that for many a year. No. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's not even just like mechanical stuff like that when you're tilted or not playing at your best. It's, yeah, those decisions to take a fight against someone two levels higher than you with their ultimate up, and you don't even have yours. No. So, and then, yeah, lack of communication. It's... It's really sad that a team like H2K can fall off so hard from a play that they can't, they just can't reset after games. Games from before still affect them, and that's a pretty big issue in best ofs. Yeah, but it's something we've seen time and time again from H2K, and for some reason they can't fix it. Maybe it's the players, and I mean, yes, Yankos has been the first Blood King in the past. He's been great on whatever team he's been on, Rockat, Yankos. You've seen it when he's on Lee Sin, he can carry games by himself, but all of a sudden... The tilt is just getting the better of him. And maybe it's, he feels like this ball lane is something he has to put on his own back more than he used to when uh, you know, there, he had some other guys on that team. But now it's, he's just trying too hard. And it shows in, his, in what he's doing, in his facial expressions, in his yep. gestures. So. And even though they were clearly, at least Yankos, maybe some other guys were clearly tilted in that game, it was still close it was. at times in it game was. three. And then really one of the big turning points was a Baron fight where Caps eventually gets... A four-man stun that kind of swings the fight around, but it's really back and forth. We got a clip of it here. We do have the clip. And, uh, you know, both guys, both teams kind of play the fight pretty well, but Fnatic eventually comes out on top. But you see the gold's still pretty close. It is close. It's definitely reasonable at 20 minutes, only like two and a half. Oh, there's, there's a, a pretty bad Yankos <laughs> ultimate there again. 
so that's a good sign. But yeah, the Janna keeps everyone alive. H2K had a pretty good play though, kind of like flanking everybody. You get the first kill on Jezus, and then uh, this is where things kind of start to turn when Cash There's lands an amazing Dying. format ultimate. If you look at all that text, a lot of people, a lot of stunned. Lot of you stunned can see there. Team. That's four guys, and again, there goes Yankos. And once you have four guys stunned, I mean, Reckless just doing free damage in the back line. No one gets even yeah. close to him. And that's all she wrote for this team fight. The Baron, pretty much the series in the game, so. Yeah, and, and that was a pretty nice uh, NAR ultimate there from Odawamne, but again, Reckless and um, Caps pretty much not affected by it. So yeah, they're just raining free damage. And as long as those two carries are up, good night, H2K.